Hello everyone. I'm Alan Kay, a computer scientist, an educator, and a pioneer in the world of computing. Many know me for my work on object-oriented programming, the creation of the Smalltalk programming language, and the development of key concepts that paved the way for modern graphical user interfaces. But I'm not just a technologist, I'm an advocate for new ways of thinking about computing, education, and human potential. My journey began in the early 1960s when I became fascinated with the idea that computers could be much more than just number crunching machines. Back then, computers were mainly used for scientific calculations. But I saw them as tools for communication, education, and creativity. This vision led me to work at the University of Utah and then at Xerox Park where some of the most innovative ideas in computing were born. At Xerox Park, I was part of a team that developed many of the foundational technologies we take for granted today, such as the graphical user interface GUI that inspired the Macintosh and Windows operating systems. But one of my proudest achievements was the creation of the Smalltalk programming language. Smalltalk wasn't just a programming language. It was a complete environment designed to empower users, especially children, to think, learn, and create. It introduced the world to the concept of object-oriented programming, which is now a cornerstone of software development. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. One of the biggest challenges I faced was convincing others to see the potential in these new ideas. Despite our breakthroughs at Xerox Park, Many of our innovations were not immediately recognized or commercialized. It was frustrating to see ideas with so much promise struggle to gain acceptance. In many ways, I felt we were too far ahead of our time. Another failure was the limited adoption of small talk. Although its concepts became widely influential, small talk itself never achieved the widespread use I had hoped for. Part of this was due to its complexity and the computing power it required at the time, power that simply wasn't available to most people. Today, we face a different set of challenges. The digital world has grown beyond what any of us could have imagined, but we've also seen how these technologies can be misused or lead to unintended consequences. One of the biggest challenges now is ensuring that computing remains a tool for human empowerment rather than control. To the audience today, I ask, what is your vision for the future of computing? How will you ensure that technology remains a tool for creativity, learning, and empowerment? As I reflect on my career, I realize that the most important thing is not the technology itself, but the people it serves. We need to keep asking big questions, challenging assumptions, and staying curious. The world of computing is still young, and there's so much more to discover and create. Don't be afraid to think differently, to experiment, and to fail. Each failure is a lesson, and each challenge is an opportunity to grow. Remember, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. The future of computing and of humanity is in our hands. Let's make it a future worth creating. Thank you.